Stage 19 of the Vuelta Espana and it was another hilly journey through the Galician region with Alberto Contador looking calm in the red jersey a minute and 19 seconds ahead of Chris Froome. The giant Shimano team along with Orica Green Edge were doing a lot of the early chasing as a breakaway group of three formed after 50 kilometres with Laurent Mongel from the FDJ squad along with Walt Poles of Omega Pharma Quickstep and Pim Lichtal of Lotto Balasol into his third breakaway of this year's race. They weren't given too much latitude, a maximum lead of just a little bit over two minutes. It was then towards the next climb of the day. There's a Category 2 climb early and one that came with just 15 kilometres to race. And the sprinters were hoping they would be able to control affairs enough to get over the climb and then make their way down towards the finish line to contest the stage honours. Sam Bewley and Mitch Docker were doing a power of work at the front for Orica Green Edge, looking for stage win number two for Michael Matthews. And then the clouds started to open up and the men racing for red got a little bit nervous and the tension really increased. Giant Shimano aiming to defend the green jersey of Degan Kolb and also make it stage win at number five in this year's race. We're doing more work than Orica Green Edge as they were a little bit more optimistic about Degan Kolb's chances on the climb. As the break was almost caught, it was then over to Tinkoff Saxo going to the front to make sure that Contador didn't concede more time to Froome as he did on the previous stage. The break was caught. It was then Luke Rowe that went to the front for Team Sky, trying to get a good position on the climb, which was a narrow ascent of some five kilometres. Alexei Lusenko, the former under-23 world champion, was the first to attack. And by the top, he'd opened up an advantage of more than 10 seconds. Lavalet was the next to go, but he was abruptly brought back to the main field. And then on the descents, it was Lusenko opening up his advantage and a crash for Dario Cotoldo back in the main field. As they made their way down towards the finish line, it was Sammy Sanchez that was looking to open up his advantage over the rest of the field, but it didn't last for too long. He was quickly brought back. Lutsenko got out to 20 seconds, and it was Tobias Ludvigsen for Giant Shimano who was chasing. At the six-kilometre mark, Lutsenko was finally caught. There was then a little rise and an attack from Peter Kenyak, and the next to go was Adam Hansen. One of the cult figures of the sport, riding all three Grand Tours for the third year running, Adam Hansen was looking to collect his second career stage victory in a Grand Tour. He won solo a year ago at the Giro d'Italia, and he won solo on this occasion at the Volta Espana. With time to enjoy the celebrations, Hansen went out the winner, and in the sprint for the minor placings, it was John Degenkolb who led the peloton home after all the hard work of his team. At least he's extended his lead in the race for green. But with two stages remaining and a mountaintop finish on stage 20, it's Contador who leads the race a minute and 19 seconds ahead of Chris Froome. This race isn't finished with yet.